All right, guys. Well, um, I, I recorded the video, but it was accidentally deleted. Um, here's what I done. I took the tire off. All right, so my next step was to take this drive shaft off, the 4x4 drive shaft, which I did. It, the four bolts are off, but the drive shaft will not come out because it's just, there's no play to, to take, take it out. So looking at it further, here's what happened. Here's what I need to do. So, since there's the drive shaft, and there's no play in here to, to wiggle it out, to, because I have to pop it out this way, in that direction, in the forward direction. Anyway, <clears throat> So there's no way to do that. Um, so, looking at the transmission further, there's uh, there was the starter was right here. I had to take it off because th there's this bolt and that bolt is what puts the starter on and also bolts into the engine uh, the engine um, itself. So those are the top two bolts, and then there's one bolt here. And then one on the other side, uh, those are the four bolts that hold the tranny on. And then you got this, this bolt, and then you have that bolt uh, on the transmission mount. As soon as you take those off, it's ready to go. Uh, other than I had the, the EGR, let me uh, come over here. The EGR valve was there we go. Here we go. Ugh, trying to pop this in one hand there we go the EGR was set like this there's this vet here's the valve going to the exhaust manifold I tried I tried to take it off there but it's so rusty I didn't want to mess with it so I just took it off from this end and then from the intake end and then you have this bolt here I showed you that was attached to here uh, that would be that would have been in the way so so the, the EGR valve is off and the transmission is ready to come out I'll show you see, see how it's ready to go so I just need to wiggle it out of the play and don't forget the the clutch cable so that's pretty much it what I'm going to do is Wiggle this out of the way, my direction a little bit. But I'll pop, move it backwards a little bit so I could take the, the drive shaft off and then I'll take the remaining. Uh, see, it's already separating right there. So it's ready to go. Um, so in the next part of this video, uh, I'm going to pause it uh, and I'm going to have my little helper help me. Say hi. And, and, uh, and hopefully. Um, the trans transition the transmission is out tonight okay I'll be right back all right transmission out just like I said it slipped right out and there's the 4x4 drive axle so here's here's the engine wow. with the transmission out it looks like broken. so I think I'm done for the night um, I'm gonna uh, start looking at the transmission the thrust bearing came out, and I don't know which direction it came out of. Is it? I'm gonna assume it's this direction. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna have to look at my documentation and see what, what direction it comes goes in. Other than that, that's it. She's out and ready to go to uh, get cleaned up, have inspected. It looks pretty good. Um, for some reason, I don't know why it's, it wasn't. Transmission wasn't working. Uh, the pressure plate le seems aligned, um, so I have no no clue. Okay, so I'm gonna order a new clutch. It may end up, it may not need it. Uh, the clutch is fine, but I'm gonna order all, all, all these parts that I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna order order new, and uh, that might take a couple like a week. You know, some of these parts you have to order from Japan directly, uh, if, unless you know somebody, a distributor um, in the U.S. or something, they may have it in stock. So, um, that's it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, maybe I'll start looking on taking off the distributor, uh, maybe the mechanical fuel pump, and 
and work my way that way. And then maybe the air filter, uh, because the trend, the the, uh, the carburetor, uh, I, I got to be careful because all the vacuum lines, I don't know where all they go, and there's some, some vacuum lines that are, are kind of oh, um, laying out there. See, like this, this one with the, with the screw in it, I don't know why it's that way. Um, so I'll have to figure all that out. Okay, well, that's it for, for tonight. Appreciate it. See you in the next video.